Hello everyone. We are going to uh, learn about the identification of hybrid cells. But before that, there is a good news for you that we are going to start our online classes on plant tissue culture. So all the topics related to plant tissue culture will be covered in this course. And uh, for details, you can contact on number 9823126925. And uh, you can also reach to us via email address that is mailme.bhageshree11 at the rate gmail.com and in this course there will be one-to-one -one interaction as well as notes will be available and also it will, the discussion forums will be there and the other good news for you is that we have started our telegram channel named roadmap so in uh, this channel you will be able to get the notes and all the benefits and there will be discussion forums and question and answer session so if you are interested and you if you want to get good outcome and you want to score good marks in the coming exams then you can join this channel to get more benefits so starting to our coming to our lesson we have already learned with the uh, hybrid selection of hybrid cells in our previous lesson and we are doing our protoplast fusion methods so for protoplast fusion uh, whichever are the subtopics we are covering that so already we have covered with the basics and the mechanisms that are to be carried out and the treatment and then the selection of hybrid cells so if you want you can just uh, go through that lessons so that it will be easy for you to understand the concepts in more better way now coming to the identification of hybrid cells for hybrid identification of hybrid cells there are some criteria so we will learn that in more detail coming to the identification of the hybrid cells now the development of hybrid cells is followed by the generation of hybrid plants which requires proof for genetic contribution from both parental protoplast and the hybridity must be established only from the and a euploid and not from the uneuploid hybrids so there are different methods like the morphology of hybrid plant the morphology of hybrid plant what happens is the in there are there is intermediate between two parents and the vegetative and floral characters are considered so for the morphology of hybrid plants one character criteria is the intermediate between two parents should be there and vegetative and floral characters are considered like the leaf shape leaf area root morphology flower shape its structure size color and seed capsule morphology so this is all considered for the morphology of the hybrid plant so stomatic hybrids like the pomatos and top topatos uh, what they happens they are fused product of potato and tomato pomatos and topatos so they are fused product of potato and tomato which shows the abnormal morphology and the genetic base of character is not clearly known so the intermediate traits are under control of multiple genes and the support hybrid uh, for uh, morphological character with evidence of genetic data so the morphological character with evidence of genetic metha uh, data show supports the hybrid plant so morphology of the hybrid plant now coming to the isoenzyme analysis of hybrid plants now for the isoenzyme analysis of hybrid plants the what is isoenzyme first we'll study isoenzyme is the multiple form of enzyme catalyzing the same reaction so multiple form of enzyme catalyzes the same reaction and so it is called as isoenzyme. So the electrophoretic uh, patterns of isoenzymes are used to verify the hybridity. Now in order to verify the hy hybridity, the electrophoretic patterns of isoenzymes are used. And the stomatic hybrids possess specific isoenzymes of one or other parent or both the parents. So many enzymes possess unique isoenzymes that are used for the identification of stomatic hybrid like the amylase, isoperoxidase, aminotransferase and uh, hydrogenase. Hydrogenase examples such as alcohol, lactate, malate, these are used. 
but if the isoenzyme is dimeric dimeric means that it is having two unit, subunits so if it is having two subunits means it is dimeric the stomatic hybrid contains isoenzymes with an intermediate mobility property so the stomatic hybrid will contain isoenzyme with an intermediate mobility property so isoenzyme it is variable with some plant but it is important to use same enzyme for each plant like the parents and stomatic for um, the specific tissue with the same age so the same plant is used uh, now coming to the third one is the chromosomal institution now uh, constitution so chromosomal constitution the number of chromosome present in the hybrid cells can be counted directly and it provides the information of the ploidy states of the cells so the stomatic hybrids are expected to possess chromosomes which are equal to the total number of chromosomes that are originally present in parental protoplast now the presence of chromosomal marker is useful for the genetic analysis of hybrid cells so the mar chromosomal markers are useful for the genetic an analysis of the hybrid cells so this is about the chromosomal constitution now coming to the molecular techniques now molecular techniques the difference in the restriction pattern of mitochondrial dna and protoplast is observed then the pci technology third one is the molecular marker such as the rflp aflp rapd and microsatellite so these are micro uh, molecular techniques that are carried out for the purpose of the identification of hybrid cells now the chromosome number in stomatic hybrids the chromosome number in stomatic hybrids more than a total number of both the parental protoplast causes variations so there are different variations that are caused because of the chromosome number in the stomatic hybrids so that might be because of the irregular mitotic cell division or because of the fusion of more than two protoplast or because of the fusogen or the electro induced fusion about one third of fusion occur between more than protoplast one protoplast so fusogen or electro induced fusion occurs or the differences in the status of the protoplast from two species of plant this results in the formation of the asymmetric hybrids and the asymmetric uh, hybrids can be formed due to the unequal replication of dna in the fusing protoplast so the protoplast isolation and culture it leads to the somaclonal variation and also vary, it causes variation in the chromosome number so this is the chromosome number in the stomatic hybrids now coming to the symmetric and asymmetric hybrids if the chromosome number in hybrid is the sum of the chromosome of the two parental protoplast then the hybrid is called as symmetric and symmetric hybrids between incomplete species are sterile this is because of the reason of the production of 3n hybrids by using 2n of one species with n number of another species so this is the symmetric hybrid now coming to the asymmetric hybrid they have abnormal or or the wide variation in the chromosome number than the exact total of two species so the hybrids are formed with full stomatic complement of one parental species while all or nearly all of the chromosome of another species are lost due to the mitotic division so the asymmetric hybrids they may be called as cybrids but for the introgressed genes so this is about the symmetric and asymmetric hybrids this is the identification of hybrid cells that basis on what factors the identification of hybrid cells is done and the techniques that are involved for molecular techniques rapd and rflp all that techniques will have separate lesson on that so if you like the video don't forget to click on like button below and also subscribe for more video updates thank you for watching